everybody! Today, let's make some soup. Delicious soup. I said soup. Spicy beef and vegetable soups called yukgejang. I just make for four servings today, but even though you're living alone, just make these four servings. You can keep in the refrigerator up to one week, you can keep eating. Mom is living for you know, some travel, and then she has to make some food for family. You know, spaghetti sauce, lots of spaghetti sauce and spaghetti, or sometimes sandwich kind of, you know, preparation. Or I heard the lasagna. They make a lot of lasagna. Okay, this one is for you guys. While I'm not home, you guys keep eating. So that's kind of Western mom, Korean mom, including me, makes yukgejang when I live for travel. And also bone soup, you know, the Korean ox bone soup. Ox bone soup is maybe longer, longer period because I make a huge amount and then they keep eating, eating. But this yukgejang is like, okay, I'll come back, you know, three or four days after you guys eat this. It contains all kinds of, lots of vegetables inside and also meat. And then whenever you eat, and then reheat again. And then that's it. All you need is rice, rice and soup. Well-balanced meal, just a simple. I'm really craving for yukgejang now. First, I'm going to boil water because the soup, we need a lot of water. And three quarts of water, I'm going to boil. Let's boil. Around 10 minutes after, it starts boiling, and then I'm going to add my beef and other stuff. One pound of beef brisket. I'm going to soak this beef in water because I like to remove some blood from the meat. Soak in cold water. These are vegetables and garlic and onion. I'm going to use this all. And also this is mung bean sprouts. And also I never skipped this kosari. Fern break is mountain vegetable. I just already soaked, boiled and soaked using my pressure cooker. This is a 50 grams of dried gosari. Look at this one. It's really thin, eh? But when this is well soaked, it looks like this. Huge difference. Well soaked one, gosari is that you can easily like squish like this. See? It has lots of dust here. And you need to wash. Couple of times wash to remove all dust. Add some water. So see this amount. Now I'm boiling my gosari with pressure cooker. It takes 30 minutes. I measure the time. So you see a little blood. We need to boil this beef until really, really tender. So I'm going to cut just a little bit like that. Cut this along the grain so that when after it is cooked, easily pull apart. Four dried shiitake mushroom and then onion. Let's cut it in half. Let's add this to the boiling water. We need to boil this for one hour. So after one hour, I'm going to check in my beef. Beef should be so tender. Close. This is sukjunamul mung bean sprouts. So mung bean sprouts, so we need around three cups of mung bean sprouts. This is a perfect size. It's a 12 ounce, 340 grams. I will use this. You can grow mung bean sprouts. You know that my another video, mung bean sprouts, growing mung bean sprouts. I was going to grow my mung bean sprouts to make this video, but I was too busy. So just I bought this. Grab shaking. Very clean. 
This is a green onion. You guys saw this green onion. You can find this only either Korean grocery store or Japanese grocery store. So yesterday I found a really nice one. Long stem is sweet. So this is called Deppa, large green onion. Cut it around two and a half inch long. Too thick, so I'm going to cut it in half. Then, yeah. Gosari, around six ounce, about two cups. Like this. Yeah. Oh, Mangchi, what are you going to do? The leftover gosari. Don't worry, I'm going to make a bindetak later. When I make a bindetak, I always use this. Or stir fry with soy sauce and garlic and gosari namul. Sometimes my, you guys are asking me, so like a cute questions. You guys are, oh, what are you doing with the leftover? Who is eating all this food? I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating. Now, these guys are really boiling right now. That's great. A lot of vegetables. For four servings only. But when these guys are cooked, all shrunk. So are you ready to smash something? Let's do garlic cloves. Chop, 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 chop. My vegetables are all ready. I like to show you how to clean. If you find in a Korean grocery store, look like this kind of guy, grab it and then make a yuke jang. Cut the root like this. And out of the skin, remove this. Long, isn't it? And then here, cut it. Just use it finger. So really nice, beautiful, clean, isn't it? So let's wash this. So next, we are going to make a seasoning sauce. Seasoning sauce should be salty and spicy, oily. I'm going to add quarter cup hot pepper flakes. One tablespoon salt. One tablespoon soy sauce. Sesame oil. One tablespoon olive oil. So one tablespoon. Yay! <laughs> one tablespoon. Black pepper around one teaspoon. Mmm, smells delicious. I just cover this to keep the flavor. And then all we can do is waiting until our beef is cooked really tender. Let's take a break. This is my kosari. Rinse this in cold water. to squeeze this guy. You see? Perfect. One hour passed. I'm going to check my beef. If beef is very easily pulled apart, that's done. If it's not yet, then I'm going to cook longer. So easily you can cook this with chopstick, but still kind of a little tough. If I cook the 10 minutes longer, I think it will be awesome. Our goal is to make this beef very tender, boil, boil, until very, very easily pull it apart. So you can add more water until when you are satisfied. It has to be 10 cups. I'm making rice. So we all strain this. Let it cool down. It's too hot to handle this. So now, this is a boiling stock. I'm going to add this. Let's mix well. Really smells the sesame oil smell, garlic smell. Before adding to boiling stock, you need to mix this well. 
so that all this ingredient and stock is going to be incorporated so well. Massive vegetables. Vegetables should be really also soft. I'm going to cook 20 minutes. Just leftover soup, I'm going to put it there. So mushrooms, let's cut it thinly. Slice thin. Yeah. And beef. You can tear like this or you can cut. Why not? Eh? You like to cut, just cut this way. Let's add beef and mushroom. So yukkejang is soup. Lots of stuff inside. Ten minutes passed. Our soup is done. Are you guys hungry? I'm so hungry. Wow. Lots of stuff inside. Eh? Chopped green onion. I'm going to bring my rice. Red bean. Rice. Pinch of salt. And mix. Looks so good. Let's taste. Mm. All vegetables are very tender. Kosari, I love the texture. You know, the texture is like a little crispy, but soft, a lot of succulent. Usually what I'm doing is when I eat yukkejang, I put some rice inside. And then just mix this eating. And you don't need many side dishes. I prepare just my kimchi and then steamed perilla leaves. Mmm, delicious. It's a chewy, tender beef, rice, and kimchi. Today, we made yukkejang, Korean spicy beef and vegetable soup. Make this. Let me know how yours turns out. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.